So this is inspired. I don't think he, he uh, coined it, but he used to say it a lot. Uh, Tom Hickey, our colleague uh, in OCLC research, would always say, ideas are cheap. You know, so it, it, lots of people can have an idea to do something, but you really have to sort of step back from it. Uh, and the other thing that inspired me was sometimes you, you see these kinds of meetings in organizations. Um, a product-focused person will say, the great news is there's already a way that we do this. A researcher will say, the problem is there's already a way in which we do this. And I think both of those parties tend to sometimes ignore the customer, who is sometimes always just sitting in the room saying, is anyone going to ask me what I think? So those were the two inspirations that led to these quick five steps. So the first step was a vision statement. So you've heard sometimes people say the first thing you should do if you have a new product idea is write the press release. So this is similar to that, and I'm using it as an example the one that we did for our wiki-based prototype uh, around building a, a better future. And you'll notice that we did it without using the words linked data or entities, uh, which was uh, an important part of, of the project. So step one, a product's vision statement. Step two was justification. Do I have the resources? Should I be doing this project? This is lean, a lean canvas. Uh, lots of people have proprietary versions of this. If you, if you Google lean canvas, you'll find lots of examples. Some of them move the boxes around. But it's a succinct, business-focused view that helps you determine the real effort behind a good idea. Start filling out those boxes. If you're struggling to fill out those boxes, you probably don't have a fully fleshed idea quite yet. So again, we did this uh, with the Project Passage Link Data Project. It's a sniff test. It's not a full business plan or a market rollout strategy. Uh, and as one of my favorite people in finance used to say, the more, more precisely right you try to be, the more precisely wrong you will be. So you don't have to give it that sort of super detailed amount of focus. Step three, put the band together. Um, folks that, that knew me in my product days, I used to have this Helen Keller quote posted in my office, happiness is best attained through fidelity to a worthy purpose. So you have that vision statement. And although Helen Keller didn't mean it this way, I often use fidelity in stereophonic fidelity sense. You want to put you know, a team members that have a, a, a range of experiences and, and diverse experiences uh, in the space that you're working in, not a group of half a dozen people who all agree wholeheartedly uh, in one way. So you want to get a, a good team together. Part of that team was also finding the right library partner. So we could have just sat in a corner and researched and decided how we could do good and then throw it out to the community, uh, but we wanted to do this with the partnership. So we started with two libraries, Cornell and UC Davis. We put the invitation out to more than a dozen other libraries, hoping that half of them would join on, and all of them did. Um, so that was maybe a challenge we might have done a little bit differently. That's a lot of people in a small prototype partnership. The other piece of this was having a partnership across OCLC as well. So Intra, 
partnership. It wasn't just our SDLC research staff, but partnering with our global technologies production staff and global product management, the folks that are responsible for production services. So the team was made up of the three divisions at OCLC and about 15 uh, library partners. Step four was set team expectations. Um, I, I made an edit to this that, that I forgot to get in there this morning, but the first bullet was actually set a deadline, set, set an ending point. Um, uh, OCLC research in the past has had a few experiments that tend to go on um, and on and on and on. Um, so we actually said September 2018, this experiment will be over. Um, we demanded participation. We thought that this would actually scare some of the partners away, uh, but it actually said this is great, you're actually going to make us do some work and, and try some things and that's great. Expect resistance. Communicate frequently. We had uh, office hours that we would do uh, just about every week uh, and run-throughs. Document everything, um, and there's the end date. Sorry, I just put the bullet in the wrong place. Um, set an end date for the experimentation. <laughs> Step five, and sometimes this is the hardest one when you're doing a prototype or an experiment, is accepting the outcome. Um, not every idea you're going to have is a winner, so you want to fail fast and move on. Uh, you should be disappointed. This was something that uh, our colleague Bruce Washburn stated at the beginning of the experiment. We should be disappointed if we wind up with something that looks exactly like we expected from the start. Uh, so that's something that was important to us. And if the plan for production, if you're going beyond the prototype and you decide you actually want to productionize something, if it looks different than what you expected at the beginning, then go back to that vision statement and read it again. Let's go back to that, that lean canvas template, that business justification, and see if they still make sense, right? So you can sort of go back to step one and two and, and double check. So I'm gonna throw in, I got two minutes left, I'm gonna give you one bonus step. So bonus step number six is to make it repeatable. So the other reason we wanted to try a different process was to determine how we would run other experiments. So uh, we recently launched this thing called OCLC Research Works to, apply, to shape and apply research agenda, that sort of R&D phase. Uh, and we actually hired uh, part-time Thomas Padilla, who's helping, this with the, helping us with this. We just had a meeting a couple of weeks ago uh, in, in Dublin to engage the community through an, a research library partnership working group, convene meetings, develop a program, pro programmatic view of the expertise within OCLC, our data sets, our applications, and APIs. That working group is made up of many of our esteemed colleagues, uh, as you can see, and we're hoping that this effort will chart a path forward and give us a repeatable way to continue with new experiments, new applications, new data sets, uh, things that are not just necessarily just like data activities, uh, but all kinds of uh, next generation uh, activities in the library space. And that's it. Thanks. <laughs>